I put up a video about what's wrong with the Jesus of the Chosen, how he is a portrayal of the false Jesus, the Jesus that will one day become the Antichrist. And I haven't been able to convince people about this, but I want to add a part two to this video, which really should have been a part one before the other video, that there's a clip in The Chosen where Jesus is corrected by Matthew. And Jesus is perfect. He's God. He doesn't need to be corrected by any man or woman or by anyone. Isaiah 40, 13 says, Who hath directed the Spirit of the Lord? It's asking the question. Who hath directed the Spirit of the Lord, or being his counselor, hath taught him? So whenever you portray a Jesus that has to be corrected by somebody in your TV series, you're portraying a false Jesus. Because the real Jesus Christ is God, and he does not need to be corrected. You are the salt of the earth. I'm worried that people near the back will hear, salt the earth. And it will immediately call to mind a negative connotation. I share your concern about the opening line. So this is Jesus and Matthew discussing his Sermon on the Mount, and Jesus himself is actually asking Matthew for criticism on one of his teachings. But I do agree with you. We shouldn't begin with salt. You make a valid point. Good work. Ah, he needed correction on that from Matthew, the Apostle. Okay, at that point, you have a different Jesus. This is not the Jesus of the Bible. Because this Jesus was going to start out his speech differently. And Jesus is like, oh yeah, what was I thinking, Matthew? We'll do it your way. I'm only God over here, by the way. What you have here is an ontological problem. You're misunderstanding the very nature of who Jesus is. And you can't rightly have a show about Jesus if you're not sure who he is or what he is. Right now, your opening line is, 